For more than 3,000 years, one of the world's greatest civilizations flourished along the winding Nile River in northeast Africa. Egypt has been the site of constant archaeological excavations since the early 20th century. Each discovery shed light on some previously unknown facet of refined culture, expanding our common knowledge in profound ways. But it has also uncovered some mysteries that have left researchers crashing their heads and even scared them to death. So what did archaeologists hide from us about these Egyptian discoveries? In this video, we'll tell you about the shocking Egyptian discoveries. Number 3. Valley of the Golden Mummies It is in Baharia Oasis, which is about 380 kilometers west of the pyramids. It was built during the Greco-Roman period, and it shows a wide range of styles and social status. It was found on April 17, 2001. Four tombs were dug up, and inside them were 105 mummies of Roman Egyptians in high positions. Many of the mummies were wearing gold masks. Many of these mummies are richly decorated with religious scenes, and they are the best Roman-era mummies that have ever been found in Egypt. About 2,000 years have passed since these old things were made, but they have held up surprisingly well. This dig helped us learn more about the lives and deaths of the Egyptians who lived in Bahariya between 332 and 30 BC. Number 2. Temples in Abu Simbel the Great Temple of Abu Simbel is in Nubia, close to Egypt's southern border. It is one of Egypt's most impressive buildings. King Ramesses II of the 19th dynasty cut it into the living rock around 1264 BC. Most people know the temple for the four huge statues of seated colossi that stand in front of it. One of these fell down in the past because of an earthquake, and you can still see pieces of it on the ground. In the main hall, huge standing statues of the king lead to the sanctuary where four gods sit, Amun-Ra, Ra Horakthi, Pita, and a god who looks like Ramesses II. The temple was constructed with such accuracy that the sun's rays enter the building, traverse the main hall, and light the deepest statues on two specific days each year, February 22nd and October 22nd. These dates are thought to be when Ramesses II became king and his birthday. The goddess Hathor and Ramesses II's great royal wife, Queen Nefertari, are honored at the small temple, which is a rock-cut temple to the north. Her colossi are the same size as her husband's on the facade of the small temple, a very rare example of such a display. After the Aswan High Dam was built in 1968, the two temples had to be moved because they were in danger of being flooded. Number 3. Temple of Bastet The Temple of Bastet was one of the most important places of worship for the goddess Bastet in the Old Kingdom. Bastet was a goddess of fertility and protection. At first, Bastet was shown as a lioness. Later, she was shown as a cat. Herodotus, a Greek historian who went to Per Bastet, in the 5th century BC, said that even though other temples looked grander, the Temple of Bastet was the most beautiful. This temple would have been surrounded by two waterways and trees, giving it a great view of the city. During the 22nd dynasty, when Per Bastet was made the capital of Egypt, the Temple of Bastet was expanded, and a lot of old building materials were used to do so. Two red granite blocks from the time of the 4th dynasty, King Khufu and King Khafre, are the oldest of these. Also Khan I, the second monarch of the 22nd dynasty, continued to add to his temple, with his name appearing repeatedly at the temple's entrance. Beyond the peristyle courtyard, there was a huge gate at the site. This was made by Osor Khan II, and pictures of him at the Heb Sed festival are painted on it. A long colonnade in the far west leads to a hippostyle hall, which was also erected by Oros Khan II and has a papyrus and a Hathor columns. The last Egyptian king of the 30th and the final dynasty, King Nectanebo II, fixed up the sanctuary, which was at the far west end of the temple. This was where the Holy of Holies was. That's all for today, hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.